Uh, what occurred this morning, yesterday we received a complaint of a stolen vehicle um, from one of the Pro Drum housing areas out by Fort Drum. Uh, the vehicle this morning was spotted by a person who was interviewed in our investigation yesterday and the information was given that that vehicle was seen in the city of Watertown this morning. Uh, information was relayed by our Watertown desk to the city police and some of our patrols uh, responded to that location to see if in fact the truck matched that description. Uh, when our patrols were spotted uh, by the subject that was operating this truck, uh, the subject uh, fled in the vehicle. Uh, it was a short distance uh, from where the first time we picked him up to where the action occurred here. Uh, basically, he was driving erratically at a high rate of speed uh, with the traffic that was there this morning uh, caused the accident which we have here. Uh, luckily, nobody was injured in the accident other than the operator who had some very minor injuries. Now, initial report saying the driver of the uh, stolen vehicle question ran off. Is that true? Or yes, once the vehicle crashed, the operator fled on foot. Uh, you know, our patrols, uh, assisted by the Watertown City Police, uh, uh, were able to apprehend him just up the road a short distance. So the Watertown City Police was on him very quickly once he uh, left the vehicle. Can you identify the uh, No, we're not identifying at this time. Our investigation is continuing again. You know, it's a stolen vehicle complaint from yesterday. So uh, once we get the seat cleaned up here, we'll continue with our investigation. The accident happened right here on right in the middle of the street, or, or what we're looking at now is the scene in the parking lot, that's where the... Uh, the car in the interface. Yeah. Accident happened right here in the, in the parking lot. The vehicle came off of Bradley Street at a high rate of speed, tried to make the turn, didn't make the turn, hit a parked car on the side of the road, continued on into the bus. Uh, as I said, luckily nobody was injured, nobody was occupying either the vehicle or the bus, so we were very lucky in that situation. They're both just parked, nobody in them, nobody to the hospital. Nope, nobody to the hospital, no injuries, and I said other than the operator who is in custody, uh, has some minor uh, injuries, which he's being treated for right now, Samaritan, and then at that point he'll be released to us to, you know, to be arranged. You said he was wanted? The, the subject, it's the vehicle that we had a stolen vehicle complaint on yesterday. And again, that vehicle was spotted this morning by someone who was interviewed in our investigation yesterday. He relayed that information to our Watertown desk through a cellular 911 call. And that's how we were able to come over and you know, see if that vehicle was you know, the, the, the one we were looking for. So uh, our agency, along with the Watertown City Police, were able to you know, bring the subject into custody this morning. What location, can you say what location the stolen vehicle was, was spotted at initially? It was spotted up on LaRae Street in the city. Uh, so when we're talking about something in the city of Watertown, we immediately call the city police to make sure they're aware of it. So our, our units, along with the city police units, uh, were able to you know, bring the subject into custody after a short uh, you know, chase. Again, you know, it's, there's a lot of traffic in the morning, so that's our major caution to make sure nobody is injured or no you know, innocent people are, are injured in this. And basically this came out the best we hoped for, you know, with a minor property damage accident. So we would have liked to have no accident, but uh, in this case, nobody was injured. The subject is in custody. Anything